Okay, so this is going to be how to make your own custom battery logo for iPhone and iPod Touch 4. It is different on these because they have higher resolution pictures, obviously, so the size is going to be bigger. What you're going to end up with is around 17 different folders. This is going to be each picture of the battery going from empty to full. What you want to do is open up your image editing. I'm going to use Photoshop. I already have mine open here. The file size that you want to use is going to be width 528 and height 258. Make sure it's on transparent. Okay. So once you've, once you've got this picture, what you want to do is you want to make your empty battery icon. I already have this here. I'm just going to put empty. Um, empty on it. There we go. Then what you want to do is you want to file, save as, and this part is very important because what you need to do is you need to save it as battery BG. Battery needs to have a capital B and it needs to have a capital BG. Underscore 1 at 2x. Now the at 2x is because it's going to be two times bigger than what it used to be. Okay? Just save this on your desktop for now. Okay? There we go, mine's saved on my desktop. Now what you want to do is go to your pre-made theme file, double click on it, double click on bundles, double click on com.apple.springboard, and if you haven't made that, just make a theme a file inside your theme file called bundles and then a file called com.apple.springboard double click on that as well now as you can see I already have all my batteries in here okay what you want to do is you want to drag and drop that battery that you just made straight in there just like that okay now for the second one what you need to do is go back to Photoshop and you might want to fill it up a little bit because this is going to be your battery slowly getting fuller more full so I'm just going to put a little red line going down there like that. Okay. Then this is this is a bit different. It's exactly the same as before, but what you want to do is you need to save it as battery BG underscore two at two X. Then save that. Okay. Make sure these are PNG files. If they are not, they will not work. Okay. Now save that to your desktop like you've just done, drag it into your file, into bundles, into com.apple.springboard straight in there. Then you need to do the same for your third battery, fourth battery, fifth battery, always changing the number. Okay. Then you need to plug in your iPod and go to your SSH browser, whatever one you use. I use iPhone browser because it seemed to be the easiest. Okay. You wait for this to load and then you find your Winterboard themes. Once it's loaded, you want to drag your whole theme file straight into there. Just like that. Okay, so now you've dragged it in there. Boom, boom, boom. And it's now just about done. Give it a little bit longer. And there you have it, your own custom battery logo for your iPod or iPhone 4. I'm just going to select my theme now to see how, to see what it looks like. It'll respring, then you can have a gander. Oh, that's unbelievably sexy. My battery is full at the moment, so it's showing a full battery right here. And I have my nice themes have my nice icons and I have my sliders also. Thanks for watching. That is how to make your own battery.